Well, I'm Dick, uh, Dick Skipworth. It's the first time I've driven uh, this transporter for about three years. It, it, it is, in fact, very nice to drive once you, uh, once you get moving. It has a six-speed gearbox. The gearbox is very sweet. Uh, you flick through it because at slow speed, when you're manoeuvring, you've got to be very strong with the steering wheel because there's no power steering. Some of the unique things about it um, was based on a comma bus chassis in 1959. And the reason why the comma was chosen was the comma at that time had a um, fairly unique engine. It was a three-cylinder two-stroke engine and it's quite compact and the engine is under the floor effectively so the whole flatbed was available for building superstructure. Designed by an eccentric uh, character called Selby, Selby Howgate, who I think had two or three iterations of it before he decided on the final one. But it is, um, it is unique, as they say. Not slow. Uh, some people have often said it must be very slow, but it isn't. It, it will cruise at 55, 60 miles an hour, keep up with modern commercials. And as a youngster, um, I used to go to Silverstone to uh, to motor race meetings and it was during one visit to Silverstone that um, a courier costs were there with two or three cars and one I liked the colour very much and uh, two they, they proved to be very exciting to watch. I think the, the Scottish drivers were always a little bit aggressive <laughs> and uh, so it was always interesting if, uh, if there was a courier cost was competing. It was around 1985, I think, when uh, I managed to buy a, a D-type, Jaguar D-type replica, and uh, it was painted in a Courier Cost colours. There was the flag metallic blue with the three stripes on the front. We did lots of track days with that car, and I was driving the car back, and it came a, a cloudburst, a bit like it's doing today, and. Uh, um, I was pretty well drenched by the time I got home, but uh, my friend Chris was driving my BMW behind me. And I said to Chris, you know, if we're going to do this regularly, we, we, we really need some form of transport. And I was thinking really of a trailer, um, a four wheel drive or something like that with a trailer. And Chris said, oh, I know where the old courier cost transporter is. And I said, yeah, that would be fantastic. Anyway, uh, a long story short, <laughs> a week later we'd bought it <laughs> and it was in pretty sorry condition. The, uh, the person that owned it, um, I think had owned it for about six or seven years and started with good intentions of restoring it and got as far as pulling it apart. When we eventually picked it up, I mean all the tyres were flat, the, the paint had been stripped off, um, the panels were popping off, etc. Commissioned links at, um, at Hastings, who took on the job of restoring it. They did restore it, in fact, over a six month period, which was very quick, really. And they restored it to virtually what it is today. Although it's, uh, it was 1992, I think, when it was finished. But she hasn't changed very much since then. Remarkable machine, and a machine that's very hard to beat today if you wanted a transporter that would carry three cars, all the spares, have a sort of workshop, carry all your fuel. The good thing around it, when you, you arrive with this, you don't need a ticket to get in. <laughs> You're usually waved in without any question. I'd get in and do an hour or so, you know, and that would be it really. Uh, I mean, I was basically along for the, for the ride, you know, because the other guys thought, well, but his assassin act let him sit in the truck. <laughs> Which I didn't mind at all, you know, it was fine. I liked it. I loved the old truck. I think it's a really elegant looking vehicle, basically. It's certainly one of a kind and I think was probably the first custom design race car transporter in the country. Yeah, this used to where the is now like a reception area it was all our spares and everything used to be in there. Um, gearboxes, spare ratios. Uh, wheels, tyres, all sorts of stuff. Everything we needed to run the cars 
were in there and uh, it's just like a three-seater uh, cab on the, on the front that was it basically there we go here's the back tailgate down big ramps there hooked in the floor run back the top rail down the top two cars on tied down covered up all got the tie wrap tie down points along the sides tie them down with the, with the straps cover them bottom one in tie it down cover it ramps back in underneath back up there we go packed up ready for rock and rolling